My name is Jace and this is Fast Forward Design. Each week I teach new fast tutorials with easy step-by-step -step instructions on all things design. All right, let's get started. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can add natural looking sunlight to your photos. This easy effect will allow you to add sunlight to those dull images taken in cloudy conditions or enhance the sunlight in already bright photos. I'll show you two techniques you can use. One, a haze, and two, a sun flare. In this first example, we'll add a nice natural looking sun haze. The first step is to examine the image to determine where the light, if any, is coming from. In this photo, we can see the light is coming from the top left as her left side of her face is brighter. Then you'll want to examine how sun would naturally appear in this photo. Because we don't have any sky in the background, in this example, we're going to add a haze. The second step is to add the light source to the image. We do this by creating a gradient adjustment layer. This is how you will naturally mimic the color gradient of the sun. Click on the gradient and make sure it's color to transparent. Click on the white indicator and set it from white to yellow. Just make sure the yellow you pick is bright. Then change the right indicator to red. Again, pick a red color that is fairly bright. You can always come back later to change the color. So this color is good for now. Then change the style from linear to radial and click OK. Next, we'll need to change the blend mode to screen. When we change any blend mode to screen, it means the layer will only brighten the image, meaning the yellow color we just added will more naturally blend in with the other bright colors in the photo. After this, we can go back to the gradient adjustment and move the light source where we want it to go. You can also change the scale of the light with the scale slider. In this picture, I want a nice sunny haze, so I'm going to enlarge the sunlight just a bit. Now is when we can go back and examine the color of the light and decide if we want to make some edits. I think the yellow is too strong here, so I'm going to go back and make the gradient more orange. The final step for our gradient adjustment is to fix the areas where sunlight wouldn't naturally appear. Since sunlight is coming from the top left of the subject, we need to remove it slightly from areas it wouldn't hit, like the parts of her face. Click on the layer mask and using the brush tool with black paint and low opacity, paint over the areas you want to remove the gradient effect. It's best to first start with a low opacity and gradually increase it. In addition to making the photo look more natural, removing the sunlight here also helps the subject stand out more. And if you find the gradient to be too strong, you can always lower the opacity of the effect. In step three, we're going to add another gradient effect, this time a gradient map. This will help manipulate the other areas of the image other than the sunlight to give it a touch of color that sunlight would have naturally given the image. Go to adjustments and add a gradient map. Just make sure your map is between the layers of the gradient and the original image. Click on the gradient this time, change the left indicator to red and the right indicator to orange and click OK. Then turn the blend mode to soft light and lower the opacity of the adjustment until it looks more natural. You're going to want to make the opacity very low in this instance. You're going to want to again adjust the layer mask to remove the effect from the areas of the subject like we did in the previous step. So using a black brush with low opacity, just go over those same areas that we went over in the previous step to make the photo more natural.
If this is the natural looking sunlight you wanted, that's perfect and you can stop right here. I'm going to do one more small adjustment to enhance the sunlight even more. In step four, I'll create a curves adjustment layer and slightly darken the image. I find that darkening the image also makes the sunlight stand out even more. And that's it. Now we have a stunning and natural looking sunlight haze. I'll show you one more example, this time in fast forward. In this example, the light source will be a sun flare coming from behind the subject. In step one, we'll start by examining where the light would naturally appear in this photo. I'm going to put the light right behind the woman. In step two, we're going to add the gradient adjustment. Start with yellow to red, and we can always adjust later. Change the style to radial and the blend mode to screen and move the light source where you want it to be. And then using the layer mask and a black brush, remove the effect from the areas that the light wouldn't naturally be in. Since the light is coming from her back, all areas in her front wouldn't have sunlight. In step three, we'll add the gradient map from red to orange and lower the opacity. Again, we'll remove the effect from the layer mask in certain areas. And step four is optional, but you can always slightly lower the curve adjustment to darken the image and let the sunshine stand out more. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if this tutorial worked for you in the comments below. I post new fast and easy design tutorials every Wednesday. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos.